And good Friday morning, everybody. Welcome to Connections. I'm your host, Roger Wendell. It's the 29th of May, 2009, and a beautiful spring day indeed in Denver, Boulder, and beyond. It's just great weather throughout Colorado today. My guest this morning is the Honorable Richard D. Lamb, a three-term three -term, rather governor of Colorado, and we'll be discussing environmental consequences of U.S. population growth. Richard D. Lamb is co-director of the Institute for Public Policy Studies at the University of Denver and the former three-term governor of Colorado from 1975 through 1987. He also serves as co-chair of the National Board of Advisors of the Federation for American Immigration Reform. Richard Lamb is both a lawyer and a certified public accountant and as a first-year legislator he drafted and succeeded in passing the nation's first liberalized abortion law. He was an early leader of the environmental movement and was president of the first national conference on population and the environment. In his youth, Richard Lamb worked as a lumberjack in Oregon, a stock boy in New York, and even helped out on an ore boat. After college, he served as first lieutenant in the Army and later held jobs as an accountant, tax clerk, and law clerk. While governor, Richard Lamb wrote and co-authored six books. Uh, governor Lamb, welcome to Connections and KGNU. Good to have you here. Um, as I discussed with our intermediary, Shirley, who helped arrange this uh, discussion this morning between the two of us, uh, we were going to touch on a couple of historical events here as far as your uh, governorship is concerned in Colorado before we dive into the population issue. And if you don't mind, I'd like to start out with maybe a little bit of history and background on how you led the movement against the 1976 Winter Olympics in Denver. 